Good morning. Buenos dias, drinking my water. I was just doing some stories, so I was kind of going over them so that I could post them, but ready to go to the gym. I have my little cow pack bag, which I love. I'll link this for you guys. If you guys like to go on walks, if you guys go to Disney, travel, this is such a good fanny pack. The color is everything, and I have it in multiple colors. Let me show you guys what I'm taking to the gym. A little lip balm, necessary. My Kindle. I mean, would I even be going to the gym if I didn't have my Kindle? Probably not. My ID and my wallet. Oh, and my water bottle. Well, that's not in my cow pack, but I'm gonna link that for you guys. We're gonna get going. It's actually pretty early. I got up early. I'm washing. She's being a productive queen today. Does it still have the price? Oh wow, I did not notice that. So I thought it would be cool to do a weekend vlog today. So we're gonna bring you guys along our weekend, everything that we're gonna be doing. It's supposed to be raining this weekend, so I'm not sure how much excitement there will be but we'll I'm sure we have a lot of errands to run especially because we were in Vegas. I do want to finally go get my Peloton. I've been talking about this damn Peloton for what feels like a whole year. And then I took the filter off this camera because there was a smoothing filter on it, which I hated. I almost threw the entire vlog away. I was like, I'm not posting that. And then I'm like, okay, it doesn't have it anymore, right? It better not have it anymore. Look who's back. We got our car back, finally. I feel like it was in the shop forever. An arm and a leg later, we have our car back. It took them almost a week, I think, to get it back to us. so hard for me to actually work out heavy and strong and go at it when I'm super hungry and I, I feel like I don't have fuel. I know. I'm starving. I was, I was, all I was thinking was about food. Is this your coffee from this morning? Yeah. Let's try this out. You want to mix it? Put the cheese. Oh god. Why what? would you do that? What? The chia seeds in there. I am going to make breakfast. I want to show you guys my like recent breakfast obsession. Which I'm proud of myself because it's actually a healthy dish. Well, is it healthy? Yeah, right? Alright, we're going to make some can you make bacon? Make some turkey bacon, which I love the one from Trader Joe's. I put it in here because it comes in like a little container. It's such an easy, yummy breakfast. And I do a little English muffin, turkey bacon. And on top of one English muffin, I put avocado. And on top of the other English muffin, butter and a little bit of jelly, which I probably shouldn't do the butter one. I know that's not super healthy. I'll probably do two avocado ones, which I'll probably do that today. And I top my little um english muffin with avocado everything but the bagel seasoning yummy so i'll have two pieces of turkey bacon with my english muffin and that's been my breakfast i'll show you guys once it's done the thing got stuck I like my bacon really crispy. I can make it in the air fryer too. It's just so easy to make it on this. This is the Our Place pan. You guys have heard me rave about it because I love it. So like, this one and my caraway pans are my absolute favorite. I'm gonna link them both below because they're just so good. I bought them for my parents for Christmas and they love them. I'm gonna link it for you guys if you guys wanna get them. They come in a ton of different colors. I have the blue one because they actually sent this to me but I wanna buy the smaller one for eggs. That is my breakfast. So I did two pieces of turkey bacon and I put Tabasco on it. And then two pieces of English muffin with avocado. Normally I would do one avocado, one butter and jelly, but today I just did two avocado. And yum. Breakfast was delicious. I love when I eat and I don't feel bloated. It is the best feeling, especially coming from a bloated girly where I breathe and I'm bloated. I have a Zoom meeting and I'm like, do I need to be all dressed up for that? But I think I'll just put a little bit of makeup really quick and change my top. Like maybe put on a shirt or something so I don't look like. I just got back from the gym, but I'm going to do some work. I'm gonna upload my new vlog that's going out for my Spanish channel. And then I need to get in the shower. I'm gonna wash my hair today and I wanna film 
using the new GHD tool. I am literally so excited for that. And then I have an event tonight. I did want to go uh, by the Peloton today, but I don't know, are we gonna have time to do that? What time is your event? 7.30. That's an event where we'll go do the Peloton tomorrow. Yeah, well. That way you're not rushing and. No, I don't know if I would. Well, maybe. Now let me get my thoughts together. This is why. I love having my little notebooks. I am about to leave to go pick up our Porsche 928 1987 S4 that we've been, actually it's been in the shop for like almost two years. A horrible experience with the mechanic. After these two years, I'm really excited just to get it back. I am gonna take it somewhere else. I don't feel that he completely fixed it the way that I want it to. It's just been a whole nightmare a situation where he was saying, it's gonna be ready next month, it's gonna be ready next month, and months went to years. I'm not gonna drive it back, I'm gonna have it towed because there's other things that we need, alignments, I need to go get it smogged. I just wanna get it out of that shop, get it here, and then take it to another shop. So I have a 1968 Dodge Charger. Totally in love with this car as well. Like we, I've had it, I think, probably like over 10 years for sure. It's been something that I, I've been holding, treasuring for a long time. Uh, and it's in the shop right now just because I needed to do some maintenance work on it. So once that is done and I pick that charger, then I'm, I'm gonna take the Porsche there. All right guys, so I just showed up to the shop to come and pick up the car. I'm very excited to see it. It's the first time that I'm actually visually seeing it moving and turned on, so I'm gonna show you guys. bracket i haven't there's a little rubber piece dennis i cannot find it anywhere but... it wasn't in the box that we had Good morning guys. I forgot to take the camera with me and I, went, I already went to Trader Joe's. Picked up a few items that we needed. I got hooked on English muffins because I think Ale and my brother-in-law Hector had bought some. And then one day I put a little bit of peanut butter and jam. Oh my goodness. I got these roses for Ale. I thought they were so cool looking. Gorgeous. Yeah, look and they're good. huge. The color. Yeah, I love the color. And then also these. That reminded me of like peonies. I think they are peonies. Love these. Especially the way that they look. Uh, this was... I was gonna get more, but this was the last batch, so I figured we'll just get these. Put them in a little vase for her. She could enjoy it in her desk. Hi, how are you guys? Good morning. Hi. Good morning. shown you guys but Karen bought me this six penny couch for my birthday she knew that I always wanted like a little reading nook area and so she bought me this couch which was so so nice of her and I've had it here since they delivered it because they delivered it and then I started traveling and I just haven't had time to move it this is obviously not where it's gonna go but I'm gonna put the little couch here so I'm gonna be moving all of this out of the way this is just like my little car bar cart which I don't know what I'm gonna do with this little guy just yet I have to find a home for it I'll put it over here for now Dun, dun, dun. I can go there. And then here I have this like 20 million throws. Why do I have so many throws, you ask? I have no idea. Oh my goodness. It's like. <sighs> oh, actually, no, my desk is supposed to go on this side. And the. Yeah, and the reading over there. I lied. My desk, I'm supposed to switch my desk area. This is clothes that I need to put away. Um, but I'm supposed to switch my desk area over here and then do my reading nook over here because I feel like if I put that. Little couch on this side, it's gonna look weird with the couch. What is happening? Dennis brought the ladder out because we have a skylight that we haven't opened in forever. Something happened to the motor. Oh, is that why we closed it? We just left it closed. And uh, when it gets really hot out here in the summer, it's like the sun and it's a hundred and something, it gets yeah. even like really hot inside. So by so. closing it, it kind of keeps the room a little bit cooler. There it goes. You guys, I'm so excited. And I'm gonna put a lamp here. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do like a straight up lamp or one of those lamps that kind of go over, 
but it's gonna be so cozy when I read and I'm just gonna have my little cute corner now, which I'm so excited about. You guys know we have so much plans for this house. I just have not had time to do any shopping for furniture or anything. I did mention a while back that we were gonna be getting new couches and a lot of you guys asked me what I was gonna do with these couches. We're gonna be selling them. I'll let you guys know when that happens. I already know the couches I want, but there's just so many things I want and I, I can't buy every single thing now because you know, they're big purchases so. I need to kind of figure out how I'm going to do this, but I'm just excited to have my little reading nook. Things are coming along slowly but surely. Desk is where it belongs. It looks so cute. It's pretty much the same thing, just the other side. We're out and about. We decided to leave our cave today. We came. The only thing that will get me out of my house on a rainy day like this is food. So we came to um, Pozoleria Doña Ana. We've been here many times because we love it. They have the best pozole in the valley. I will link it down below. You guys know I like my food. If you guys want good pozole in the valley, check them out. I got pozole de puerco. My brother got, what did you get? Picadillo? Tacos de picadillo. Guys, look how bomb this looks. And he also got a taco de birria. And then Dennis got pozole de pollo. My mouth is so literally um, watering. You a good portion. Of me, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. And then they have this chiquito. Let me have the chiquito. Let me show you guys. This is their chiquito. And I drench it in the chile. Alright, so we are back home. I've been kind of cleaning my office by sections because it's taking me so long because there is a lot of dust. But finally, my trading station is ready. If you guys would have seen the dust, crazy. I just think that I went through a period that I was like, just focused more on working, 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 working. And every day was just like, well, Monday to Friday, I was like nonstop from four in the morning till like three or four in the day. And I was like, it's just so focused. Then I decided to take a break and I was like, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm a fucking cleaner now. It's been, uh, I would say like three weeks that I kind of, took a break of trading. I kind of needed to mentally take a break because I went pretty hard for like a year of nonstop, not even sleeping at times and feeling like I was chasing something. But now I've uh, taken, taken care of other things that I needed to take care of, which I'm very happy about that. And now I'm kind of focused on cleaning, organizing. I already started working on like taxes and other things that I need to take care of. I'm, I'm on the dusting part because I am going to start trading again this week and I'm very excited about that because like I said, it's been like almost a month, I would say. I need to clean those too. I haven't dusted none of the art and it's time to do that. Alice just chilling, especially because we took care of a lot of the house and we were kind of tired. So took this. a break. Yeah, but this is easy. Like all the other stuff. This is not easy. I gotta put all this stuff away. You got this though. What do you got going on today? <laughs> oh, you want to play? Oh, you want to play? Oh, you want to play? Well, how can I play with you if you don't let it go? What about you? What about you? What about you, Odie Bear? Are you jealous? He is jealous, Bubba. I'm not gonna be jealous, Mommy's here. Okay, I think it's time for us to watch Your Honor. Ready? Oh, it's too early. No, 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 no. Ooh, I see. Your Honor tastes better you, when it's dark. No, you go to sleep. So no, I don't. I don't, I, it's okay. <gasps> We're gonna watch Your Honor. The struggle. There you go. We are on our way to go get our nails done. I haven't gotten my nails done since, hello, excuse me, there we go. I haven't gotten my nails done since I went to Aspen, which was a month ago. So these have been holding on because obviously I had a lot of trips and then came back and I just haven't been able to get an appointment with my girl, but I ended up just booking an appointment for gel mani. So we're gonna get these removed and just do a gel mani and then when my girl can do my nails, then I'll go back and get a new set. So that's what we're doing right now. Thank you. You guys told me to try, I think I 
talked about this in a vlog already, to try the hazelnut latte from uh, Coffee Bean. I just saw them make it though, and I saw him add a powder. Do they not use syrups at Coffee Bean? Do they use powders? And how much sugar is in this? Because now I'm concerned that I saw a powder <laughs> and not a syrup. Not that that means that there's any more or less sugar, but I've never seen, oh my God, I'm winded. These escalators, I swear they never work here. <sighs> I've never seen them use powder in a coffee unless it's gonna have like protein or something, but it's delicious, but that's what scares me about it. And it's so good that it might use a shit ton of sugar. I'm home. These are my nails. I'll show you guys right now in a better light. I am not crazy about them. I hate when that happens. I they gave me the, she did a she did a good job, but she put a treatment on my nails, and I also feel like my nails, whenever they put a top coat on them, they don't look shiny. But I wanted Funny Bunny, and she did a like gel treatment, which was pink, and I'm like, that's gonna change the color of my polish. And then I don't like thick nails, so I told her to just do one coat. I don't know. They're not bad. They're not terrible, but they're also like not the best. This is what they look like. I, I got Funny Bunny, and on my toes, I did white uh, gel, which is what I always get. And I just got home, put more ice in my drink, but I had to go <laughs> online and check how much sugar is in this drink. You guys, there's 40 grams of sugar in this drink. I had to check Starbucks because I'm like, okay, wait, hold on. So I checked Starbucks in a grande for Starbucks. There's 35 grams of sugar. So there's more sugar in this one than a grande 16 ounce of Starbucks hazelnut latte. So I will not be getting this anymore. This is way too much sugar. I'm still going to drink it because I spent my money on it. And I mean, it tastes great, but it's because of all the damn sugar in here. And it's just not worth it for me, so... We're just gonna finish it because we're not gonna we're not gonna throw it away. Um, but I'm back home and not sure what we're gonna be doing. I think we're either going to just spend the rest of our night here, or we might go. I pick. Are there any movies out? Or why don't we go to the theater in Calabasas, the one next to Sugarfish? Am I gonna get a blanket? Am I gonna get a? I'll take I'll take a blanket. Am I gonna get uh, reclining seats? Rob, oh, I think you might get reclining seats, but I don't think you're gonna get a blanket. Happy Sunday! The sun decided to come out in LA. Finally. Finally. The whole weekend it was gloomy. What is it's up gonna with rain all tomorrow. this rain? I know. That is so not LA. Uh, but we are actually finally leaving our house. We've been home doing home stuff. Dennis went on a bike ride. Did you vlog your no, bike ride? No, I didn't. It's been a minute that I've uh, been on this like on a bike ride for a while that I cleaned it today. Yeah, I should have showed you guys, but I kind of wanted to just really, really go hard. Yeah, and enjoy, and like now that I have it out, I'm, I, the reason I did it is because I want to start uh, getting back into it. Guess what? Finally? Guess where we are going. Finally? Finally. Finally. I'm gonna go buy my Peloton! I'm so excited. After lots of deliberation, Going back and forth between the Nordic track and the Peloton, mm -hmm. we decided on the Peloton. Well, it was, it, honestly, it was her choice because I wanted her to really enjoy it, really get something like, like that she really, really yeah. likes. And the Peloton is so nice yeah. and sleek and small. That was like my thing. I needed something because I don't have a lot of space. It's going to be in our bedroom. I know it's going to be an eyesore, but it's the only place that I can put it, at least for now. Well, I thought I, was, I, I, I thought I didn't have my seatbelt on. Most of them are pretty big. Ginormous. Yeah. They look extremely, like Extremely, like, pretty big. And this one isn't. It's actually pretty nice and pretty sleek. Yeah. And, and it's pretty powerful. Yeah. Pretty intense. It's, it's really yeah. cool. I actually already tested tested out when I went with... we When I went to dinner with Yasmin, we went to Century Scene. There's a Peloton there. So we went inside and I tested it out. And it's so nice. So we're going to go buy it, which I'm so excited. I wish I could take it home with me today, but they have to deliver it. It's probably yeah. going to be like a 
a week or so. But anyway, let's yeah. get going. But I am very proud of you because even before getting it, you've been sticking to it, going to the gym and working out. So just because of my Kindle. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, hey, whatever good. it takes. We're starving and we went to Din Tai to put our name down. The lady in front of me, she was like, party at five? And she goes, oh, it's gonna be two hours to, two hours and 45 minutes. I'm like, wow. <laughs> so they told us an hour to an hour and a half. I was trying to be all sleek. Like, I saw the line, but I was like, there's no way this line's a bar. Like the line and the how long is the wait at the bar? I don't know, but that's too many people. I mean, the bar is not even yeah. that big. Hi, how you doing? Good, Hello. How you doing? Yeah. There's no, oh shoot, I should have brought my Kindle. You also have the third Yeah, but I'm pretty well. sure we could get attachments. Yeah. Don't have for it. I was actually to... ordered mine, I get mine on Tuesday. For an attachment? No, just the tread. I, oh. I didn't have the tread, I have the bike in the row. Oh, got it. And I've been wanting it, so. Uh, uh, like a website with a ton of apparel. So, thank you. Finally, uh, thank you. Yeah. Finally did it. Very proud of you, honey. I know she's super stoked, super excited. So excited. Oh, actually, I'm gonna take a picture. And you get it this week. I get it right? Friday. Friday. So that's pretty awesome. <laughs> I mean, right, I'm sweating at that price, but. No, we did it though. I know you're happy. Yeah. You're excited. Yeah, now, we're, now we're gonna go get something. Okay, my only concern is that I better be able to put a fucking Kindle on there or. Hey, you, you'll be able I to just, get attachments. I just There's checked like, Amazon. I didn't see anything. Yeah, you. They only have it for the bike. Don't worry. Something. And we got the We just got a treadmill, and those people just got a car, so. <laughs> the vibe here, they're so happy right now. Did get the extended warranty, right. um, which is, which wasn't bad. $250 for six years? No, it wasn't bad. I almost dropped the camera. Literally almost felt like slipped my, my fingers. Too hungry. Yeah, we're so hungry. I'm like, I'm too hungry to, to try to figure out where we're going. Let's just go somewhere that's, that's good. Familiar, that's good that we know it's really bad. Yeah. I guess that you... Mandarin, rosemary, and cedar, which smells like the spa. Finally got the soap. <laughs> Today's about finally getting everything you've been saying. Like I've been your, wanting this soap for so long. It smells so good. Yeah. You know where we smelled this? At the at the um, the proper hotel. That was the body wash. I mean, we didn't get the body wash or the shampoo, but we got the soap. It's a very expensive soap, but it so, smells good. But right now we're going to go to Chacha Macha, which I'm oh, so one. excited! I've been wanting to try Chacha Macha forever! It's not very sweet, but it's it's like, I could taste the matcha, mm -hmm. which is nice. I wish there was a closer one in the valley. Mm. Say goodnight! Oh, yeah. <laughs>